in Sierra Leone, some of the world's most powerful fishing companies are stealing from some of the world's poorest people. Each year, Sierra Leone loses up to 29 million US dollars in fisheries income due to the illegal activities of foreign trawlers in Sierra Leonean waters. We've come here to investigate how theft on such a grand scale is possible. What was really striking about it is how brazen this crime was, that you would have illegal trawlers come out, fish in the inshore exclusion zone where it's not allowed to fish, and also trawlers who had their markings hidden so you didn't know who they were and who were fishing without licenses. Uh, so when we got in touch with the Environmental Justice Foundation, they said they could take us out there and um, with a bit of luck we could film these illegal trawlers and then try and track them down. And of course if you're an investigative journalist, that's a fantastic premise. Uh, so we started collaborating with them and then out of all of that grew the pirate fishing film. I'm really fascinated by the ways in which media is evolving at the moment and, and I love the idea that people are trying to push boundaries and try new things in interactive ways. As an investigative journalist, I felt that an investigation is particularly fascinating but it also lends itself to interactivity because you have the process of evidence gathering which is very easily gamified. I think the idea of actually dropping and dragging information and organizing it in your notebook is really close to my real work. In an investigation, you need to have a lot of contextual knowledge so that you can plan how your investigation proceeds and what the next steps are that you take, but you also have to build a rock-solid criminal case. So when we translated that into the dragging and dropping of evidence, that made me quite happy and I hope that we pass on this journalistic process to an audience. People have found it really engaging and I think it's a lot about what story you take and you couldn't just gamify anything like let's say there's a sex trafficking story it would be really tasteless to to try and introduce game elements but for this particular investigation that is about an environmental crime I think it's really worked there are a lot of people worried that young audiences aren't political and I think that's wrong I think young audiences are political and we do see that to a certain degree at Al Jazeera of course in our Facebook site and so on. But I think what these interactive investigation have proven that there's a real interest in something like this and it probably gives people a sense maybe, I hope, of being an activist and being actively engaged in trying to solve a crime.